These are our licorice rat snakes that we have right now. This is a baby. Uh, super cool snakes. They get really, really pretty when they're older. As you can see, they have a really cool pattern on the top of them. And they get kind of like a pinkish white along their sides. These guys will get uh, anywhere around like five to six feet. Um, with these guys, uh, being a baby, you want to start them off in something a little bit smaller. So normally like a 20 gallon cage is perfect. Uh, something along this size. Height doesn't really matter with these guys because they're not really going to climb a lot. So this size is perfect to start off a baby. That way you get a good probably year in it. Um, then once they're bigger, put them in three foot or, or larger cage. Um, is, is perfect for these guys. For bedding, uh, what I like to use is either um, like Aspen. Aspen's a really good one. We also have this really cool colorful Aspen. So if you want to get a little crazy with your tank, you can. Um, Desert Snow works really, really good. And also Cypress, which we do sell online too, or Forest Floor. Um, works really well with these guys. Uh, these ones are shedding all in one piece. Uh, super healthy little babies. These guys are feeding on large fuzzies, uh, almost hoppers right now. Um, cool thing about these guys is that they're not really picky eaters. So you can give them either live or frozen thawed. Uh, works really, really well with these guys. Um, they do need heat, so heat pads are, are a good thing to have on their cage. One side you want heated and then the other side a little bit cool, but they have their water dish and whatnot. So these are really, really good heat pads, the Zoom Ed ones. Put them on one side of the cage. Uh, in the winter time you can also add an additional light to their cage too, you want uh, temperatures of usually around like 75, 80 degrees are okay with these rat snakes. Um, you also want a really good thermometer. Most of the time if there's anything going wrong with your snake or it's not eating or something, it's normally have to do with temperature. Um, the digital thermometers uh, are definitely a recommended one. These guys are a lot more accurate than uh, the normal stick-on thermometers. Um, so it'll tell you whether it's too cold or too hot, which most of the time when it's not feeding or something's wrong, it has to do with the temperature. So I highly, highly recommend these. Um, everything you see here, um, everything that you need for this little guy is available on our website at www.llreptile.com.